to the Dodo stage, Project Adorno. Did we mention the Holloway Arts Festival? The first, <laughs> yeah. the first week of June, uh, featuring um, featuring Peter Tatchell, Momus, John Hegley, Lorraine Bowen, L. Crisis, and uh, John Arthur, who's sitting very modestly in the middle of the room. There. Um, he can cut it in such a steam company, though, no trouble. Um, oh, back to the acoustic guitar, oh, yes, yes, indeed. Yes, yes. So that's an uh, arts festival at Holloway then? Um, yes, hey, yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, um, uh, oh dear. One, two, one, two. Are you alright with that? I thought um, you had the mic training. I know, yeah, 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 yeah. No, Sorry, yeah. I ruined it for you. Okay, right. Um, I don't know if anyone else is keen on looking at cast iron coal hole covers. Um, yes. I am, and this, uh, this song is about just that. <laughs> Hit it, yes. On cue. Logo of Hungry Dog Maker's name But it's not the same Not centrosymmetrical Concentric circles Tame for rotational symmetry Burger from the neighborhood Pain and fit Woody will be out with dodgers Off the property Coal hole cover lover So much to discover some visuals behind us um, and I from Rich I use Russell's collection of coal hole photos which believe me is never in it's still growing isn't it? It is still growing. <laughs> it is indeed. Now right. we would like I can I pass you this one? Yes, 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 yes. And I'll shift these out of the way. Retreat to the the back. Yeah. Well you know <coughs> back, but I do need the I need that. Okay. Did you mention Holloway Arts Festival? Yes, yes, I, I, I did, yes. I think we're, uh, we're finished with that uh, now. Um, oh, this, uh, this, 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 um, this is for anyone that works for a living, this, uh, this next song. Um, yeah, I don't know if this is going to... When we do this one in Brighton, it doesn't mean anything. No, it just doesn't work in Brighton. So this is all uh, sort of, anyone who works in an office, um, and it's in the key of C, which is very important. So we are 
make a cup of coffee and you spread out all your papers like you've been this way for hours and hours and someone's brought some shortbread biscuits all the way from Devon All the snidey niceties and game show camaraderie Like one big happy family in shirts and ties and jeans on Friday If it's someone's birthday they bring in lots of cakes <laughs> And all the games we play day in day out Within the carpet squares between this kettle desk and Frigidaire And get possessive about milk <laughs> With the cleaners as you sink into your PC screen A chicken in your battery and stuck behind this desk Could lose the use of both your legs You don't mind A nagging sense of pointlessness And I'm with it but much on this Still screaming every time I see that poster on the wall decree You don't have to be mad to work here But it helps and all the workplace practices in office, shop and factory And emailing attachments to the person sat right next to you Getting those generic emails saying the system's going down for essential maintenance. The canteen and the car park will be closed at 5 p.m. tonight. Derek Jones is leaving, but you don't remember meeting him at all. Still, you contribute to the collection and sign the card. And your inbox has exceeded its limit once more. We're on 5 p.m. See you again. This time, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Now, I believe we're going back to the 80s, are we not? Yes, the 1880s. Um, in the 1880s, there was um, a group of five friends in Canning Town. They were amateur paleontologists. And they formed um, what they called the Canning Town Field Club, although they all, were also called the Chip Chap Club because they were five chaps who were interested in chips of stone. And um, <laughs> this is their song. All the subjects covered tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Right, right. All right, ready? This is different yeah. than this one. So, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, do you need, do you need to see that? Um, yeah, sorry. We're the honourable members of the Chip Chat Club And we meet to moot our findings and submit our subs Well we're five working men six days of the week But on Sundays we're the Chip Chats on beside Bow Creek We're five working men six days of the week But on Sundays we're the Chip Chats from beside Bow Creek We've an interest in Neolithic gnat flint tools And all manufacturers paleoethnological We've a dozen quartzite scrapers and what seems to be an axe And a clutch of other the miscellaneous artifacts We've a dozen quartzite scrapers and what seems to be an axe And a touch of other miscellaneous artifacts Mr. Smith, secretary, Mr. Herring, our chair Mr. Swain, yes, present Mr. Thornhill, here And the younger Mr. Swain I'm sorry I'm late There were problems with the dry belt and the chain guard plate Two boiler makers at the factory hand And the stalkeeper from 4th Street and his stock crew man Though we bide amongst the brickfields and mechanics institutes We can feel the stony strata underneath our boots Though we bide amongst the brickfields and mechanics institutes We can feel the stony strata underneath our boots And sometimes on half holidays we take a train Herring, Smith and Thornhill and the two Bill Swains And we meet with other doyens of geology From the Kentish Wheel to Field on the river Lee. There's a photo 
photographic image of us seated in a group Five fine fellows held together by the river tainted loops We take tea and bread and butter and we write our minutes up With the honourable members of the Chip Chap Club We take tea and bread and butter and we write our minutes up With the honourable members of the Chip Chap Club well, well, Thank you Thank you very much you don't realise how much trouble we've had that with that one. No, oh I dear, oh dear. <laughs> Too many words. We've hidden it so well, haven't we? Now, um, we're going to finish. I and think. Now, are we finishing? We yes. are finishing. Yes. Oh, <laughs> this is about something that happens. This is about something that happens to you when we reach the kind of age that we have reached. Um, I don't mean the thing where you stoop down and you get up too quickly and you get dizzy. Um, <laughs> I mean the other thing. Mm. Okay, hit it. And uh, on cue, seamless, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for listening to us. Okay, already. We've joined the National Trust. Well, it simply was a must. Oh, when you've reached that certain age. Something deep inside you gnaws at you and says It's time to join the National Trust <laughs> Something to spice our weekends up And drive out on into the country Sighted by the side of every brown road sign we see Yeah, we'll join the National Trust We're into preservation and all that stuff We've done a bit for charity Members of the largest land-owning aristocracy And all those great one-listed buildings suddenly seem so very appealing Thought about some cake and a cup of Darjeeling And a quick look round the shop A walk round the garden has a whole new meaning Walking sticks supplied if you need them Then a slice of cake and a big pot of tea And a quick look round the shop Trust. Now part of that exclusive club We're feeling middle class and slightly smug Next week it's English Heritage We've been bitten by the bug Yeah, we join the National Trust Enjoying architecture and rare shrubs Far from the madding crowds We're the coach load of pensioners all on out inside that shop There's jars of jam and potpourri In pots And lots and lots of organic Free range clotted green fudge And a set of six coasters All with matching mugs And all those great one listed buildings Suddenly seem so very appealing Pull up some cake and a cup of algae And a quick look round the shop A walk round the garden with a big fat pot Three million members can't be wrong Then a big slice of Victoria fun And a quick look round the shop when festivals at Reading seem such a bore Camping down at Glastonbury is such a chore When clubbing doesn't do it for you anymore It's time to seek and find the National Trust That's where you'll soon be finding us Putting the youngsters in the shade It's our demographic right on passive well Say the National Trust That's where you'll find oh, us The National Trust Come down and join us The National Trust No rumpus, no fuss We've got the tweed and, and the, the waves we join the National Trust Good value, I'll tell you Thank you very much <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, good night We have CDs Thank you CD. If anyone's interested in the London Underground, we are doing a show called Brilliant and Almost A to Z of the London Underground uh, on 26th of April at Ballam Library, because we like libraries as well. Wow. Thank you. What's that? Oh, goodness. Well, if you would like us to, but I don't really. It's up to you. Have you got time? We've, we've, have you got time? Or we've got time, or have you got time? Encore! Encore! Yeah, we could. Uh, no, Would you want to do that tall?
Uh, okay, yeah, 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 I know you've got a hankering for it. I, I, I have, that we can yeah. do our, our sci-fi. Yeah, like okay, sci yeah, we'll have to cover all bases. Yeah, do it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, it's just fine. fine, it's so fine. we're arguing now, we, we, we're... It's fine, it's your, it's your band. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. No, okay. Are you going to do this one? Yes. So, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. We'll do one more then. This is um, something about our favourite Doctor Who. that looks like a police box standing in a junkyard it can move anywhere in time and space yeah. right, that's ridiculous middle of the night police box arrives Time Lord in a TARDIS materialise And out walks the Doctor, but which incarnation are you for? Saturday night, sports results over Waiting for the moment to hide behind the sofa When it comes to Doctor Who, the jury's still undecided Hartnell and his crotchety moves Patrick Troughton, a piccolo or flute John Pertwee, so flamboyantly cloaked Tom Baker, we loved you the most Tom Baker, <laughs> we loved you the most Tom Baker, the others didn't come close Tom Baker, we loved you the most In the Doctor Who elections, you've got our votes The others passed me by, Peter Davison in Cricket One. How's that? Colin Baker, a namesake, but surely no doctor. And what are we to make of that creature called Sylvester McCoy? Oi, oi. I convinced myself. Some people say Peter Cushing or Paul McGann, but I say you're joking, they're just also rans. Shoddy film tie-ins, which the real Doctor Who would have no time for. No, no. Mr. Eccleston, so gritty and northern. David Ted and Casanova on horseback. John Pertwee, later known as a scarecrow. Tom Baker, we loved you the most. Tom Baker, we loved you the most. Tom Baker, the others didn't come close. Tom Baker, we loved you the most. Even Matt Smith admits you got his vote. Tom Baker, we loved you the most. Tom Baker, the others didn't come close. Tom Baker, we loved you the most. You can always pinpoint someone's age with a favourite dog too, don't you think? Tom Baker. <laughs> everyone. I've decided to say we'll be back on the 17th of May and I think we've had a fantastic evening. Thank you for coming out on a miserable night to the Poetry Cafe. Um, so the bar is open until 11 o'clock so I hope you'll join us for a drink.